This is where rotins and roaches are like family. Cause we share the same meals. Top ramen, cereal, Kool-Aid. It's no family complaints. Everything's enjoyed that we refrigerate and put in cabinets. We feel 30 below air from cracked windows. No heat for when Richmond wind blows. No AC to cool down the weather that makes us sweat. Neglect the only thing we get. Fungus disintegrating the walls. Bathroom sink replaced bathtub. Only place where I can wash my body. Everybody come through the door except people who repair. Why are elevators broken in a place made for people who are disabled? How can we use stairs when we roll the wheels of our chairs and lean our bodies on canes and walkers? No one is responsive. Feel like I'm talking to myself when help is asked to restore something as simple as a lock on the gate so I can feel safe. Never get any phone calls returned. Don't get to talk to anything more than a machine. This is home. It's not built for us to survive. I see barren hallways, broken cameras, uninvited guests. There's no service here. As if a sea of people were cast away on an island to fend for themselves, the weather outside is frightening. The absent God's ghost remains in its rightful place, a world ran by village rules. We exist only to survive. Accustomed to the law of the land, mind your business. Pay no mind to that body that just fell from the top floor the other night. Silence has become an ally to fear, the fear of being evicted. Like a sickness, the madness of this reality soaks into a simple statement better here than out there. I see Juanita, a double amputee, bound to a chair, hand scarred not by surgery or disease, but by a room and a door that a wheelchair wasn't made for. Every day she pushes through. Every day she pushes on, cause this is home. Look at Mama Hall, 81 years young and still keeping a routine. Weary eyes maintaining order with disorder, day in and day out. And if the proper authorities won't help, then they help themselves. Whether it be mice nesting in the walls, dope dealers in the halls, a prostitute treating for a trick. These scenes take hold of what they can and fight for what they can. Cause this is home. Where video cassettes are glued to the ceilings and the walls to keep the mice out. This is home. Where the people make their own. Ain't family, but they'll never be alone. Ain't nowhere else to go. And these old folks need a place, so they make space. And pray for tomorrow. Cause tomorrow shows a new face. Tomorrow. As dawn peaks and blue jays sing praise, I will awake with the gracious morning resting lightly on my eyelids, thankful. I can roll out of my plush covers feeling silk. Feet seep deep into warm carpets in my apartment on winter mornings around December's. Unthought of frosted grip I have on misery and set me free. Believing without seeing has brought life to this carcass. Tomorrow, I will be treated more like a resident feel more relevant than just the pond, you feel me? I bet not see no dirt but green in these lawns, huh? Don't wanna smell no cocaine linger or mildew clinging to my doorsteps, huh? Gotta protest, raid the government, shake their pockets and make them fix these projects, huh? Cause if not here, then where? Where do we go next, huh? Cause left the cemetery, barbed wire hearts, unchained metal gates like a welcome place for the terror part, open doors for the match and spark where everything dies slowly, on schedule. But until tomorrow, huh? before my thoughts will manifest kingdom and we feast in an abundance of wealth, we'll break bread, share what leftover scraps we have, and find communion in our struggle. And this is tomorrow. <laughs>